Hello friends, once again, welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I thank you for taking your valuable time and interest in this topic. In this video, we will learn about one particular and widely applied ecological or biodiversity index method called Sorensen Similarity Index. So to begin with, this index method was developed by T. Sorensen in the year 1948. When you review any related literature on this index method, you will observe that most of the time you'll find that Sorensen Similarity Index is simply or popularly referred to as just in short either as a Similarity Index or Sorensen Index. This index method is applied in most ecological or biodiversity of plant study, mainly for comparing the similarity between two different plant communities. This similarity between the communities is based on the number of plant species common to both the communities and the number of plant species which is specific to each communities. With this, I believe you are aware that there are three levels of measurements of biodiversity. And they are the alpha biodiversity, beta diversity, and gamma diversity. And in short, just for your information, when you say alpha biodiversity, you are referring to the number of species found in any particular community study. And when you refer to beta diversity, it remains to the number of species found in any two communities studied. And when you say gamma diversity, you're referring to the overall diversity found in any particular landscape or ecosystem which is under the study. With this, we can confirm that the Sorensen Similarity Index is used for the measurement of beta diversity of an area which is under the study. For easy and better understanding of the Sorensen Similarity Index, let us use a simple example using pictorial diagram. Let's assume that we are interested in finding the similarities between these two plant communities in our study area. And to find the answer, the first step is by studying the quantitative structures of the plant communities. Now once this is done, Plant species data of the two different area of interest will be obtained. Let's assume that the species of plants found in plant community A are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And the species of plants found in plant community B are 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Based on this data collected in our hypothetical study, we found that the number of species present in plant community A is 7 and the number of plant species found in plant community B is also 7. Whereas the number of species common to both the community studied is 5 and they are 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. After availing this data, that is the data on the number of species present in plant community A and plant community B and also the number of species common to both the communities. So the next step is how do we conclude on what is the level of similarities between the two planned communities selected in our hypothetical study? And the answer to, to this question is by using or applying Sorensen Similarity Index formula. Now let's move on to the next part that is the formula of Sorensen Similarity Index. This biodiversity index method is calculated by using the formula as given on the screen where Sorensen index or SI 
is equal to 2c divided by a plus b where a stands for the total number of species recorded in the first community and b stands for the total number of species recorded in the second community and c stands for the total number of species which are common to both the communities so this is the Sorensen similarity index formula after calculation we carried out the final value obtained will fall in the range of 0 to 1 now if the similarity index value is equal to 0 then it will indicate that there is no species that is overlap between the two communities studied and if the similarity index is equal to 1 then it will indicate that the species found between the two studied communities are exactly the same. Next, let's go back to the data we obtained from our hypothetical study. The data obtained are the total number of species recorded in, in plant community A is equal to 7. The total number of species recorded in plant community B is equal to 7. Whereas N the total number of species common to both communities is equal to 5. On using these given data, the Sorensen similarity index is calculated. And the calculated Sorensen similar index value obtained is 0 0.714. First of all, it shows that the values obtained is between 0 and 1. Since the value 0 0.74 is closer to 1 so this indicate that there is a high similarities between the community studied the very same Sorensen similar index is sometimes found in literature that it has been expressed as Sorensen coefficient for your information the formula of Sorensen coefficient is exactly the same as that of the original but it is just been further expressed into percentage where the formula of Sorensen coefficient is 2c divided by a plus b multiplied by 100 similarly the final value obtained after calculation is referred to as the Sorensen coefficient values and it values ranges between 0 and 100 and if the si coefficient value is closer or equal to 100 it will indicate that the species found between the two studied communities are exactly the same and if the SI coefficient values is equal to zero it indicates that the community studies are dissimilar in nature similarly if we calculate the Sorensen coefficients of our hypothetical data then the Sorensen coefficient value obtained will be 71.42 percent which indicate that the two different plant communities found in our studies are 71.42 percent similar with one another and with this we have come to an end about the discussion on Sorensen similarity index and just for your information there are few other commonly used biodiversity index as well and some of those commonly used index in biodiversity studies are the Simpson index the Shannon Weiner index Pilo, Evenness Index, Important Value Index, and few others more. On that note, we now have come to the end of this video. I believe this video will guide and help those who need help in understanding about this particular biodiversity index. If you find this video helpful, please kindly like share and subscribe to my channel with this i wish you a happy and simplified learning once again thank you so much and god blessed